There's so much to keep track of when we are facilitating online, whether it's sending instructions into the chat or making sure to mute the person whose dog is suddenly barking or making sure that we're muted or unmuted in the right moment. There is a lot going on. And even if we have a co-facilitator helping us out, making those breakout rooms, there is still so much to track. And there is one piece of tech that I have found in the last few years has helped me stay present, available, and just has taken so much of the cognitive load off of facilitating online. And I'm gonna share it with you in this video. Hey, I'm Meg, I teach people how to facilitate. And in this video, we're gonna be talking about tech. And we're specifically going to be talking about Stream Deck. Now, Stream Deck is this cool piece of both like hardware and software that I've been using for the last few years online. And I call it my co-facilitator, my digital co-facilitator. And something really cool happened recently, which was that Stream Deck released a fully free version that you can use on your phone. And that's what I'm gonna show you today. I'm gonna show you how you can use Stream Deck to make your virtual facilitations far more smooth, to feel more prepared and ready, and how you can do it all for free. So the thing that Stream Deck released for free is basically a six button mobile app that you can program ahead of time to have certain functions when you are in a Zoom meeting. For instance, if you use Meet or any of the other platforms, you can totally program this to use those as well. Um, but I'm gonna be talking about and giving you an example of Zoom today. So the mobile version allows you to program six buttons on your phone and you can kind of find out if you like the software of Stream Deck before you use and invest in the hardware. So let me show you how that works over on Zoom. So we are in Zoom and I have got my Stream Deck here so we can see when I hit the buttons what's gonna happen. And I'm just gonna show you what I would do with my six free buttons uh, to help me be more present and available as an online facilitator. So a couple of really simple ones. We've got camera on, camera off. We've got mute and unmute. And we've also got this awesome button that's mute all. So if there were participants in the meeting, I could just hit mute all and it would mute everyone and they would still be able to unmute themselves afterward. Uh, the next button is the chat. So when I hit that, it's going to open up the chat window, uh, which is really, really helpful. And I can just like close and open that if I want. And this is where I really think Stream Deck starts to shine is when uh, I have a bunch of different text preloaded into this Stream Deck before the workshop itself so that I can just hit a button when it's time to send those instructions or the link, okay? So what's awesome about the six button Stream Deck is I made one of those buttons a folder. And so I uh, turned that folder into five more buttons essentially. And uh, now I have the ability to just hit a, a button that says evaluation and the evaluation link is gonna show up in the chat. Uh, or like the instructions for the pear share that I wanna send or the instructions for the fishbowl that I wanna send. I can do all of that work ahead of time. I just have to, you know, get to know the Stream Deck software. I can build that button so that I just like, I type in the chat, um, you know, I type in the text that I wanna appear in the chat and then I just have to hit that button in order to get it to send uh, when I'm actually in the Zoom meeting. So that's one of the reasons that I love Stream Deck is I can do work ahead of time. And then when I'm in the moment, all I have to do is press a single button. My other favorite button on Stream Deck is this one, the five minute timer. So when I hit that, uh, it just turns itself into a little timer. And a lot of times when I'm in breakout rooms or when I want to kind of like start wrapping up a discussion, I wanna have like three to five minutes for that time, but it's so annoying to like pull up on my phone where the timer app is, blah, blah, blah. Whereas like this, I can just have a timer that's for three minutes or five minutes or however I long, and then I can just hit that button. And then I can just glance at it really easily during the workshop in order to see where we are with that timer. So I love those few features that I showed you. Turning camera on and off, muting all the participants, opening the chat feature, sending things in the chat, and then my handy little five minute timer. You can do all of that 
for free on your stream deck. Uh, on your phone and you just download the Stream Deck software, we have a video walking you through how to build out a much bigger profile in Stream Deck, but you can use that same instructional video to build this little kind of mini profile for yourself and see if you like it. If you really like it and you're like, I don't wanna use my phone for it, I want this like, you know, nice fancy multi-button thing sweet you can buy the like full on stream deck and if you are like i love this on my phone awesome you can pay to get more than six buttons on your phone um, or you can buy the hardware itself uh, but to me the reason that i am like so wanting to share this with people is because i know how much like cognitive load it takes to facilitate online. When I was still doing all that copy and paste, throw it in the chat, it was driving me nuts. And I just, uh, I couldn't keep track of everything. And this, this little thing just, oh, there it goes. This little thing just like helps me feel like I've got my stuff together, I'm ready to go. And I can like, I can do a better job at my job. And that's really what I wanted to share with you. So if you want to explore more about how I use Stream Deck, check out the longer video, check out our tutorial on OBS. But if you just want to get started and see if you like it, download Stream Deck for mobile, try out the six buttons. It's really easy to program. It's not a super steep learning curve. And let me know how it goes. All right, catch you in the next one.